Hi, I'm Jochen from PTV Group. If you already use PTV Visim and PTV Viswalk, you probably know that it's a powerful tool for simulating pedestrian movements in train stations, which is an important part of planning and designing of stations. In this process, Visim helps you ensure the free and safe flow of pedestrian in all areas of the station, the main hall, the underpasses, and corridors, stairs, and along the train platforms. The new version of Visim, now available for downloads, can do even more when modeling public transport. The first improvement is formula-based boarding. It allows more detailed and specific boarding proportions even per train line or train number. That's a major advantage when modeling transfers between trains. Not only does it require less network objects, but also it allows different proportions over time of day. For example, in the morning you have a different distribution of alighting passengers compared to noon. For boarding passenger at PT stops, you can add a formula for a filter, which defines which proportions are valid for individual passengers, for example, depending on the train they alight. An additional improvement in the new version is that it enables you to set the waiting location distribution. It's based on platform entry and realistically models the most populated zones on the platform. For example, it enables you to omit sections with no waiting passengers due to exit ramps. No longer do you need to split the public transport waiting area. This is how it works. There is an optional attribute waiting location distribution, which allows you to set a certain proportion as a distance distribution along the waiting area. Thirdly, segments on the train without passengers can now be set to achieve a better door distribution for alighting passengers. For your 2D, 3D model, you can define the sections without passengers front and back for each 2D, 3D model segment. And the fourth improvement is that trains can change their driving direction at public transport stops. That's especially important at terminus stations. It requires an overlapping link in the other direction. Once the change of driving direction is activated for the PT line stop, the PT vehicle will continue there. We hope these improvements will upgrade your Viswalk simulations. The new Visim and Viswalk version is now available for download and we'd love to get your feedback. So let's chat at the Visim user forum on LinkedIn.